Hello, hello, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how I make this full no part flip over wig. First I'm going to be starting off with my co-washed kinky curly Brazilian hair from Her Hair Company. I'm going to be using the 16, 18, and 20 inch for this wig and I'm going to be sewing on the extensions to my wig cap rather than gluing them on. I'm going to start from the bottom of the cap and I'm going to sew my way straight across onto the cap and then I'm going to be flipping it over and I'm going to continue to sew. I am not going to be cutting the wefts at all, I'm just going to be flipping them over. I am sewing through the wefts as you can see and then through the holes in the wig cap. When I get to the side of the cap, I'm going to be sewing it the same way that I did the rest of the hair. I'm just going to sew straight across and I'm going to sew through the wefts of the hair. And then once I get to the end of the extension, I am just simply going to flip it over just like this instead of cutting it. And then I'm going to sew along that weft as well. Now that the unit is done, I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my hair. I did leave out some leave out and I went ahead and did perm rod curls so that it would match the rest of the hair. And I also braided my hair and I left a perimeter braid out, but I did forget to do the other side and I didn't feel like taking it out. So it's just going to have to do for now. And as you can see, I just pinned up the back because my hair was kind of long. So then I'm going to apply the unit to that braid and to the other side of my head and I'm going to sew down the front of my hair so that it's nice and secure. Then I'm going to go ahead and take out the perm rods and I'm just going to unravel them and then I'm going to blend them in with the rest of the wig. Now I'm going to go ahead and separate my hair so that way my curls will match the curls on the wig a little bit better and then I'm going to go ahead and take some gel and apply it to my edges for a more sleek look. Then I'm going to take my hair and I'm going to intertwine it with the wig that way you can't really tell where my hair and the wig begins and ends. Once that's all done, this is how the wig will look on my head and as you can see, it blends seamlessly and it looks just like my hair. Okay, so this is the hair on my head and you guys, I am loving this hair. Look, just look at it. It looks so real. Yes, I love it so much. Like I'm, I'm just. I just really love it. On a more serious note, you guys, I really do love this hair. This is my second time wearing it. Um, the first time I wore it, I wore it at Generation Beauty. I went to Gen Beauty in New York. Um, and I was still trying to test it out because I really wasn't sure how to wear it because it's my first time ever wearing like fake hair. <laughs> I've never worn a wig, I've never worn weaves, I've never worn anything. And not because I didn't like it, but I just didn't know how to do it. So this is my first time wearing it and I first time making a wig and first time doing all of this and I actually really like it. What I really love about this hair, I feel like it matches my own hair texture almost 100% and the color is like literally spot on. I feel like I didn't have to do anything to my own hair and it matches perfectly. Like lately I've just been wanting something a little bit different and also I've been wanting to protect my hair because I feel like I'm manipulating it a little too much and I feel like my health or the health of my hair is not as good good ugh. like the health of my hair is not as good as it should be because I'm always like doing styles or manipulating or just doing things and I don't know it just it's not it's it just needed a little bit of protection so I absolutely love this so this hair is from her hair company and I heard a lot about them on YouTube and I really wanted to try them. 
Um, this is just my honest opinion about this hair because I wasn't sure what to expect. I wasn't sure I wasn't sure what I was getting or anything like that. So I ended up getting the 14, 16, 18, and 20 inch bundle. I didn't know how much hair I needed to actually make this wig. Um, I only ended up using three bundles and I was struggling to use just the three. I felt like it was so much hair. As far as like tangling and matting, did tangle a little bit like right underneath in the back. Um, like all underneath and then in the back it did tangle a little bit. Honestly, I feel like this is human curly, kinky curly hair. So I, I would hope that it would tangle a little bit because your natural hair does that anyway. So I wouldn't expect anything different from this hair as opposed to my natural hair because if my natural hair does it, this is gonna do it. So when people say, you know, it tangles and it mats, yeah, it's gonna do that a little bit because it is virgin kinky curly hair. But it, it didn't do it to a point where I was like ripping hair out or anything like that. If you guys are interested and you just wanna like change it up a little bit or protect your hair just like I'm doing, I will leave all the information down below in the description box. Also, I'll be back in a couple weeks to give you guys an update on this hair. I know sometimes your initial reaction could be like, oh my gosh, I'm loving it, it's great. And then you try it out for a little bit and you're like, mm, yeah, it's not working for me. So if you guys found this video very helpful or you just enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like this video, and if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!